what is the basis for us to believe that Jesus can give us fullness of life? Do you really believe that Jesus is the life giver? Many of us do not really reflect on the identity of Jesus. Most of the time, it is just a very conceptual, theoretical perception of Jesus. Most of us, when we ask who is Jesus, Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus shares the same being with the Father. All these are very, you say, philosophical, very static way of describing Jesus. In the Bible, especially in the New Testament, Jesus' relationship with God is not expressed so much in philosophical terms, but it is in very dynamic in terms of action. How did Jesus show his identity with the Father? Firstly, it is a unity of action. It is this unity with his Father in action because no one has seen the Father except Jesus. Seen in the sense that nobody knows him completely, unlike Jesus. So Jesus is truly the revelation of the Father simply because he is identified with the Father in whatever the Father does, the Son is doing. So the first thing, therefore, is the identity of Jesus is described in unity of action. The other way Jesus speaks of his identity with the Father is the identity of love. And it is this love of the Son that Jesus was able to do whatever the Father wills. So it is this union of love. That is why the obedience of Jesus is not a reluctant obedience. The obedience of Jesus is an obedience of love because that is what the Father wants. That is what the Father wills. To love the person means to love all those people they love. To love your parents means also to love your siblings because your parents love all their children. So if you, if you quarrel with your sibling, of course your parents feel sad, tremendously sad. So we always love those whom the person loves as well. Jesus, he emptied himself, became son of man because he loves his father and because the father loves him so deeply. So when we are loved, we return that love. So the obedience of Jesus was not so much a kind of a reluctant obedience. Obedience means to be one with the Father in love. If Jesus at the Garden of Gethsemane could say, not my will but your will be done, it is because of his union with the Father. That's why very often we speak of the identity of Jesus with the Father in terms of unity of thought, unity of mind, and unity of will. And this is a very beautiful way to speak about the oneness of God. Oneness not in terms of a monad, one. Here is in God. God is one because of full unity of mind and heart. We cannot be one because we all think differently. Uh, you can be twins, you are still not one because you think differently. But for God... Whatever Jesus thinks, whatever Jesus will, is what the Father's will. So it's a complete unity. So it's not just on the metaphysical level, but it's really to describe this complete unity, we speak of in philosophical terms, we speak of union of being. So that is why whatever the Father's will, the Son wills. This complete unity. So the Son is a reflection of the Father. So that's why we call Jesus the Son of God. Son of God means he's a reflection of God because Jesus says to see the Father is to see me. That is what we mean by reflection. So, understanding this, today we are asked to ask ourselves, where did Jesus find that confidence, that fearlessness in his ministry? It's because of his confidence in God. He is fearless because he knows that the Father is with him. And so too, actually, if you to ask yourself, how do you manage your life? Why is it that you lack confidence in your life? Simply because your faith in God is weak. 
because your confidence in the love of God is weak, because you are not deeply in love with God. And so, although you can say that Jesus is the Son of God, you can say God is your Father, but because you do not share the same mind, the same heart, your faith is weak. But if you have that, then Jesus was very confident of himself, of what he was doing, because he knew the Father was with him. So today, we are asked, therefore, that we are called to acknowledge Jesus We are called to come to Him uh, simply because Jesus is not just the Son of God, but His unity of action, unity of uh, love, but because of the works that He did. We need to deepen that relationship because at the end of the day, the focus is not so much on your sin. The focus is on Jesus is the one who comes to give us life. Jesus is the one who comes to set us free. And so we pray, may our conviction of Jesus be deepened, and so too we can find life. Life not just at the end of this world, but life here and now.